we're at a very tricky point right now in the market. So let me show you. For weeks, I've talked about a couple of things for you to help you nail this retracement. Number one, I told you the visa, the VIX at 12, buy on blue, sell on purple. That's happening here. They bought on blue. The fear was very, very low. A lot of complacency. And now they are selling the 20 area, 19, 50 area on the VIX, sell on purple edge. Will they buy the edge? I don't know. The 17 this morning becomes a critical box support on the VIX for the short to come back. So you want to watch that 17 VIX this morning. Number two, I talked to you on this chart here. It's a weekly chart of the bond on the left side. I told you, watch this shoulder, watch this head, and now the shoulder is being tested the 108. Well, sure enough, I gave you the range, 113, 108. They broke the shoulder. So the million dollar question for the bond is, do we have a lower right shoulder and then go up, which would help the stock market? Because if the bonds rebound, if they rebound, then the rates goes down. If the rates goes down, right? then it's good for the market. So now we have a million dollar questions. Do we make a new low on the bonds, which is not showing on the indicator, or do we continue playing that right shoulder? Remember, I told you that that left shoulder was about four months. If we counted, we started this January, so January, February, March, April. We might have to go another two weeks playing that right shoulder ping pong and have a decision being made on the bonds with this head here. And this is the critical, critical vision of the market. You know, in and out, in and out of your day trading, your futures and stuff, it's fine. You know, we make money, it's fun, but this is not how you look at markets. Like here, for instance, right? If you look here at one, I can find it's so difficult. Here's my positions this morning on the ES. So I have an arbitrage play this morning. I'm long one ES, short one ES, sorry, for the past few days. And that's all I have, up 4,787. But look what I have. I have an arbitrage play. It's like a debit spread where I'm long two MES. So it's like being short 10 MES, long two MES. So it's like a back ratio. It's like having a back ratio. If you do, if you do options, it's like having a back ratio. It's like having a, if you had options, you start uh, 10 puts here, 10 puts here. Let's say you are long the 525 puts and you are short the 500 puts. It's like having a, a put debit spread, but in this case, it's like being short 10 long two, right? And this is the same here going on. So I'm doing an arbitrage place. So it's a decoy that allows me to see how much they are rebounding the ES from this 500, 500, 504 area on the SPO. So I am net long, I am net short, but I have a long that I can offset my positions by using the MES. So within the same broker account, you can be long ES, short MES, and create that bracket and lower your risk by being long ES, 4,787, short MES. So learn from that. That's a powerful trick. Now, second positions this morning, the cryptos I'll show you later on when we'll go through the crypto reviews. I have $9,000 in cash out of the $11,400 account in cash on the cryptos. I have a little bit of Bitcoin, IMX, Dogecoin, Stacks, Cody, and that's it. No, not even Cody, I'm Zeona. So mostly in cash waiting. I have three cryptos account. I'll show you later on. We are waiting. We are waiting and accumulating slowly but surely the all cost averaging 
the stuff that I like for the next six months. So if you go back to the charts, it's all about this charts I was showing you about the bonds on this market review. Number one, that shoulder. Number two, this head. Number three, the shoulder. This lasted because you need to look at the market at a higher plane. I've done this for 30 years, guys. You got to think. See, it's not you come, put your finger and say, okay, five minute chart, two minute chart, market is going up, market is going down. I'm in, I'm out, I'm a degenerated gambler, and I trade emotionally and I don't create wealth. There is no asset protection for through, there is no tax efficiency in my thinking. And there's no long-term wealth planning, you know, with asset that provides income that will help you retire safely. Because day trading should be no more than 5% of your asset. If right now you have 90% of your asset, 50% plus of all your, your cash asset. In day trading thinking, it's going to change your life. I'll tell you how it's going to change your life. It's going to change your life, not for the better. It's not when, but it's if you are going to blow up all your account, if you put all your money, you need to segregate your accounts. And we'll teach you that in our upcoming new free community where you divide by buckets, you know, your long-term investing, asset, even like if you have real estate, a business, W-2 income, how do you use uh, IRAs? How do you use 401k, defined benefit plan? How do you use infinity banking with uh, life insurance that I use. I have a life insurance that I do infinity banking. It becomes like a lifetime annuity. This is wealth, like the wealthy. Not the YouTuber coming in, coming up and, and shitting around, showing you three charts and just putting all their money in futures or putting all their money in options. I do SPY options. I do ES futures and NQ futures, but it's a very, very tiny part of my wealth, guys. And if you want to be wealthy, believe me, you want to do a symmetrical bet. You take small sums of money to make them big. And you'll see that in our new upcoming community. For now, get on the Discord group, get the free tool, the free indicator. I'll show you how I'll give you one of the free indicators for trading view later on. Plug them in for your swing trading and your wealth. And, and it's a game changer. Okay? So... We want to see how this ZN shoulder is going to behave because it took four months here, one head at 105. We broke the 108 shoulder. We want to see if we make a lower high shoulder and then break up or it's making the new low. We don't know right now. Same here, buy on blue, sell on purple with the patented tools. And by the way, each time people are giving me crap, with the patented tools, that's the patent office right there. You know, I don't know. Can you see? DTZ, boom, patent office. This is the patent. Those are unique indicators in the world. You're not, they, nobody has those indicators. But it took us two years. They are looking at all the case studies, you know, all the designs in the world that exist for the patent. Yeah, you know, they give you also the copyrights. Yeah, you know, everything is there, guys. So just learn, be open minded, you know, change your life, and just come with an open mind, you know, and learn the process. You know, keep on coming daily in the stream and learn. So buy on blue, sell on purple. We bought the VIX at 12. We told you last week there was an 87% chance of a retracement at the top. And it happened. Look at the right shot. SPX last week was at 87%, 81%. Look, if I put the replay, it's not just me telling you. That's the beauty of TradingView. Replay. Say, where, where, where was I? Right? A couple of weeks ago, he has been saying it for the past three weeks. So where is it? Well, you go here. Right, and you take the replay, and you're like, where was it? Where was the uh, calculator probability? So we go to the calculator, we go to the settings, we go from divisions, box percentages. So we had exact percentages when I told you, and look, it was over 81 percent. So we knew it was coming. You know, sell on purple, buy on blue. We knew it was coming. 
So now that we know it was coming, what's next? So now, let me show you the range why it's dangerous. We have a range on the bottom here at five, 475 on the SPY to the 490. So those two edges plus the institutional zone are going to be your target in the SPY. That's the best that you should expect in the SPY at this point. Now, resistance is where? Coming this morning, we have this 508, 510. So let's call it 509 for simple discussion. 509 is going to be your critical resistance. Then we have a trend line at about 512. So it passed 509. This is going to pass 512. If they pass that 509, 512, it's game over, guys. They will make new highs towards the 530. Okay? So you have a very difficult problem here because you have a range for, from 530 to 490, which is roughly 40 points. And so if you take the range, this is our life's worth is stacking ranges from top to bottom, do divisions and create probability, you know, with net seller and net buyer pressure from institutions and major block from the power trend box at the top. The institutions are selling here, but look, the major day traders and minor blocks are still buying. We went from up to sideways, and this is where the shift could happen, where we go down. But the long term is a buy. So no matter what, right now, whether, and I'll show you later on in crypto when we do the crypto review, no matter what, I want to buy the market here for 475, 490. As a matter of fact, you should have your buying list. What do you want to re-enter your AMD or add to your AMD? Because I have the quarter million dollar portfolio, right? Right there, so if I reopen my thing somewhere. And I want to add to those positions. So hold on, this is cryptos. Where is it? And I need to give you the April update. I know I owe you the April update. This is the March uh, uh, accounts. But the point is, where is it? I have our time. Oh, it's set up at 200 here. Here. So this is 233 in March. This is a little bit down now because, of course, the market has gone down. But if you look at some of the position, even back in March, on one of the account, one of the retirement on the $114,000 account, you can see that I was already edging a little bit, not a lot, with SPXS, the triple bear ETF, 750 shares. So as the market has gone down for the past few days, this SPXS has gone up, and it's offsetting a little bit the losses here. Not a lot. I'm still losing on the overall account. I'm still net long delta on the retirement account because my thesis is to use the cash of SPXS when SPXS is going to go up and the market down to reuse that cash. So maybe it'll be 10, 12,000, maybe 12 to eight, nine to 12, 13,000 dollars. And I will add on my Amazon position, 50 shares. I will add to my uh, Alphabet Google position, 55 shares, right? I will add, I don't know, I don't want to add an Intel. Intel has not been having right, but Palantir for sure. If I see Palantir, you know, 19 to 21 here, I'm, I'm interesting. The 19 area, 19.5 is interesting in Palantir. Um, probably will uh, reinvest and add to my AMD. I think it's in the other account. Was that in the other account? Uh, I have Amazon here, Coinbase, same, huge pullback on cryptos. I will add more Coinbase, I have 55 shares, will add to Coinbase, and, and, and that's it. We'll keep on going with the themes. And what are the themes? The themes are going to be all your AI cryptos, AI cryptos, AI cryptos. People are going to get out of AI, get in cryptos, get out of cryptos, get into AI, and you'll see this, this rotation all year. So, you need to be very careful here because if you assume the range on the SPY is 530, top of the calculator, 
to bottom of the calculator, let's say roughly 482, right? Uh, let's make it easy. 480, it's 50 points. That means from top to bottom, there's 25 points here and there's 25 points here. As you can see, you are smack in the middle right now. You are at the 50, 50% chance on both sides. So it's going to be very, very difficult trading, guys. I've been trading for a long, long time, and it's going to be very difficult for everybody to make money here because you're at 50%. You have a 50% chance it's going down. You have a 50% chance they squeeze you like crazy again, right? Also, I'm looking for this VIX retracement today. See at the bottom of the right calculator at 17, if they breach that, that you are on your way to 16. So that 17, 16 retracement on the VIX is going to be critical to see if the shorts are coming. And I, I'm looking at this range being so critical for the market, which is 509. If they recapture 509, guys, be careful. It's a huge squeeze. They are going to strangle you and it's going to be bad. So what do you do when you're at a 50-50 range? Well, I showed you what I did already, making $5,000 on this morning. Uh, that's the crypto. That's the Alcon account. That's not the retirement account, but this, this is the, the futures. I trade small. And I've done this for 30 years, and I trade small. I'm afraid of this market. I want to buy, right? So, and plus, I have a neutral, not a neutral position, I'm net short because I had a fantastic entry for the past few days at 52.05 on the futures. And that's because I swing trade those futures. I'm not in, I'm not out, I'm not in, I'm not out like a degenerated person. From point A to point B, I make money. Sell on purple, buy on blue with those pattern indicators that we have tested with real money for over 20 years. That's it. That's how you make money. I go, I take care of my businesses. I I don't get in, get out anymore. This is how traders lose money. This is how you lose money on everything. Getting in, getting out, getting in, getting out, paying commissions, getting caught up in the algo. I get in and I'm waiting for the move to be done. So right now my assumption is net short, but I put a decoy yesterday of too long MES. So I'm a short ES, which is 10 versus two. Okay, that's that's it's like a debit spread. It's an arbitrage. It's an arbitrage of delta on my futures. Now I'll talk to you about my Alcon later on. This has been a little bit more challenging because the Alcons have been completely crushed, and I bought some on Saturday and they recrushed them again. So I'm I'm careful, but I'm going to dark cost averaging back into about thirty five fifty thousand dollars in crypto, but very slowly now. I still think that they are going to drag this thing towards the 490, 500, 590, 490, 480 on SPY. And it's going to drag at the worst case on SPX around here, which is the edge support around 4950. And then we'll see. This is going to be the moment of truth. 4950 here, 485 here. 480, 490, right? So average 485. And then this is the moment of truth, okay? So this is all we have to focus on. But it's all about economical cycle. At any point from this 485 to this 500, they can come and squeeze the heck out of you because there's trillions of dollars sitting waiting to re-enter this economical cycle. And who knows? Maybe a new president. So this is important because let me show you. It's all about economical cycles, guys. So the key is where are we in the economical cycle? Because if you get it wrong, you get smacked. So do we assume on the economical cycle that for the past two years, 2022, 2023, right? We have suffered, 
you know? This, there was a fear, there was a capitulation, there was a little bit of despair and negativity. And finally, there was a bear trap in October. There's media attention on Bitcoin. There's a lot of enthusiasm. And now everybody's buying meme coin. We have greed. And then, do we have a bull trap pulling us back again or not? Well, typically the cycle are two years down, four years up. So if I am right, October 23 to October 27 should be relatively a buy the pullback cycle. And by the way, the only way you are going to make money, and believe me, because I used to only day trade, is to master the cycles. And this is a great book, by the way. Okay, I don't make any commissions. All I want is if this is helpful, your likes and comments on the feeds are appreciated, right? It's this book from Our World Marks, Mastering Market Cycle, Our World Marks. Right there. I don't know if you can see. This is a great, great book for you guys to learn the cycle. Because with cycle, that's how you are going to be very wealthy. You do you 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 trade in and out of futures, in and out of options, you'll never be wealthy. So hopefully that was helpful. 